we've done it before. We did it in 2017, and uh, we thought it was time to go back. We have a great group. Last weekend, Nebraska softball competed in the Puerto Vallarta Challenge to kick off the 2024 season. The Oscars split the four-game weekend with wins over Long Beach State and Utah Valley, but the trip was more than just a weekend softball tournament. just thought with this team it would be a good first start. Um, we knew that we would have an opportunity to get out into their community and kind of experience Mexico in a different way. And I think, you know, as I listened to our players talk about it, several of them said, that's been their favorite thing they've ever done as a Husker. How about that? The Huskers spent time in the community signing autographs, taking pictures, and talking with elementary school students at Escuela Urbana 554 during their recess and lunch hour. Coach Ravel says the response from the kids was inspirational. You know, we were there for just an hour, and the hugs that our players received from boys and girls at the end, it made it, made it seem like, you know, they've known them forever, and they come on a visit, and they were sad to see them go. But... Um, you know, they were so gracious, and just to have have uh, the Huskers there among them and taking pictures and getting down on their level and, like I said, hugging them and giving them autographs, uh, really just an enriching experience all the way around. The trip also provided the team with more opportunity to bond and grow closer. We stayed at an all-inclusive, so you were just around and among each other for meals, and, and even when we went to the ballpark, I mean, we had just all walked together. So even that seven- or eight-minute walk, just the conversations that – popped up during that time. It's just a different kind of bonding when you're in it when you're in another country. The Huskers ended the tournament with a 3-2 win over Utah Valley, highlighted by a game-ending catch by freshman Samantha Bland. Once the game was over, the Huskers remained in the community and got some time to spend with their families. In February, the Huskers hosted its first ever fan fest at the Hawks Championship Center. During the event, Coach Ravel called all of the young fans in the audience to stand front and center to hear the team speak, a moment she says was not planned. I didn't even know I was going to do that, but I saw all those little girls and some little boys too that just were so big eyed and so filled with excitement. And it actually reminded me of being in church and, you know, the pastor calling all the kids forward for like that time. And it just felt like, like when, when I said, come on up, their eyes even got bigger. They were already big, but they even got bigger. And that became again our players one of their favorite days and it just became really joyous for them and and they even said when they when the kids came in tight it just felt like a really intimate environment and I think it really kicked off for a great first fan day. What's next for the Huskers is a trip to Las Cruces New Mexico for another weekend tournament.